sedimentor is a way of sampling the bottom of the ocean or the bottom of the lake, and you can collect the sediment that's at the bottom of these with essentially a long tube with a lot of weight on it that penetrates into it and goes past through different layers of time. Basically, the stuff on the bottom is older than what's on top, so it accumulates uh, through time, and it's a way of accessing this uh, potential history of the Earth. As you might guess from the title, a piston coring system centers around the use of a piston in the top of the core barrel, and that piston serves the function of providing a vacuum when the core goes into the sediment column that prevents the sediments from being deformed and squished as the barrel goes into the sediment. The way we do it at OSU involves a trigger weight or a trigger core, and that trigger core is attached to a line several meters in length, and then that whole mechanism is at the top of what we call the, the core uh, head, the, the weight stand of the core. That weight stand has thousands of pounds of lead weight in it, and then that lead weight is on the top of a length of steel pipe that depending on the environment will be rigged to be between 20 and 50 feet long on average. And when you hit the sediment bottom, that trigger weight hits first. And when that trigger weight hits first, it releases the tension on something called a trigger arm, and that releases that, that free scope of line. And then the piston core, which has been held by that line, free falls into the bottom. It can ram it through glacial clay, tens of meters. history about what kinds of organisms were alive, history about what the ocean temperatures were, what ocean salinities were, uh, processes that were occurring on land, um, whether or not there were big ice sheets. There's all this information that's preserved in those sediments. Work from the past into the present. So we want to capture, you know, dynamics like ice sheet changes and how that affected Earth or, or droughts or um, oceanographic changes in terms of what plankton was living where, when. Um, and all of these things basically fall into the bottom of the ocean and we can use the sediment to capture that record. The scientific and cultural value of this collection is immeasurable. This facility allows researchers to come from all over the country who are studying all of those different processes that we discussed and look at archives that might have been collected in the 1940s or the 1950s. They can look at cores that were collected in Antarctica or cores that were collected in the Arctic Ocean. It allows researchers from smaller schools who have really good research ideas but don't have access to ships to, to take advantage of these materials and, and ask innovative research questions that help us better understand our world.